Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right, guys. So we have a very busy day today. Um, I have five free picks for you guys. Masterclass, I have eight additional plays, including two different two-unit plays in Masterclass. So um, if you're interested, Masterclass, BenderWins.com, guys, $99 for the entire month. Uh, yesterday, we went one and two on our free picks. Uh, we went three and one in Masterclass. So free picks, uh, we lost Masterclass. We, we finished with a small win going four and three for the day. Um, I'm glad St. Louis hung on for everyone there at the end. Uh, after that, that disallowed goal, um, you know, it can be demotivational for a team. Team thinks they got a two nothing lead. All of a sudden, goal taken away. And you can see a momentum swing in Arizona did score next. And, uh, you know, you got, always got to keep your fingers crossed. But they did manage to get it done. Um, you know, the uh, the two first half systems didn't work out. I had another one that I gave out in Masterclass and that did hit. And again, you know, um, there is no rhyme or reason as to why I give picks on one side or the other. Except for the fact, like, as I mentioned in yesterday's video or a couple days ago, maybe. Uh, some plays, um, you know, I give out in Masterclass intentionally because uh, if I give it out in free picks, the line's going to get crushed, i.e. some props, some smaller school first half plays, etc., etc., etc. So, um, yeah. Anyways, a uh, couple things really, really quickly before I get into it, but I do want to get to this, guys, because um, here what I have for you guys today, I got some more hockey. I got some basketball, college basketball, and I have a soccer play uh, that I'm going to give out to free picks as well. Um, hockey, we've been hitting 62% so far this year. So we will, uh, we will endeavor to uh, hopefully keep that going. But I wanted to talk about something, guys, that, um, you know, maybe a little off topic, but I can certainly relate it to sports betting, okay? Warren Buffett comes out yesterday, and he's talking uh, more or less about the, the, the volume, the increased volume of people investing in the stock market. I mean, you see it everywhere. Uh, a year ago, you didn't see it, right? And and they're talking about um, different investment companies being overwhelmed by applications. Absolutely, just they can't keep up. They have to hire new staff just to process new applications to their business, and they're behind. And people are saying, "I want to trade, like process my application." So, uh, I mean, not the first time Warren Buffett's come out and said it, because if you've read his books, um, he's talked about this before. And so Warren Buffett comes out and says, you know. When everybody is interested in stocks, when everyone's interested in stocks, that's the time for you not to be interested in stocks. And when everyone, when everybody wants to buy stocks, you should. And when everyone, everyone has no interest in stocks, that's when you should be interested in the stock market. And um, I, I relate it over to sports betting in, in a similar fashion, guys, for, for a couple different reasons, a couple different reasons. Um, you know, one being... We always talk about, you know, where we're going to find value, okay? Where we're going to find value. And look, you you got a team, we'll talk about St. Louis. We got a team in St. Louis, right? Three-game losing streak yesterday. Um, Arizona perceived to get pretty good value plus money. And, uh, you know, no one, no one wants to touch St. Louis as a favorite that just lost three in a row, okay? You look at some of these basketball games out there. You get, you know, uh, some of the master class systems I talk about. You've got, you know, good teams against teams that have failed to cover over their past however many games and nobody wants to touch those those lowly little teams that that you know haven't covered cost people money whatever reason there's no perceived value and with no perceived value from the public it creates value and th those are the games we win 58 59 60 percent of the time sometimes on those systems so it's important that you have an understanding of value not only just in sports betting, but also in the markets as well. So very, very quick story. And this is, uh, you know, it's not meant, um, it's not meant to disparage anyone or, or their choice of job or anything like that. But I'll tell you, when Warren Buffett originally formed his first company, is before Berkshire Hathaway, um, when he first formed his company, okay, he had gotten collections from all kinds of different people that had invested in Warren Buffett. And uh, and he was, you know, he was a young guru at the time. He was doing great. He was making a ton of money for people and he was a value investor, okay? That's what he used to find. He used to find value in stocks and he would invest in undervalued, well-managed companies. That's it. That's his secret sauce. Undervalued, well-management company. 
are well-managed companies. So one day he's going into his office in um, Omaha, Nebraska, and the doorman is there and, you know, greets him. Good morning, Mr. Buffett. How are you? And weren't very good, sir. Uh, going to his office, the doorman's like, uh, Mr. Buffett, can I ask you a question? And he stops and says, absolutely. Mr. Buffett, very personal man, if you've seen him in interviews. Uh, and the doorman says to him, look, uh, my wife and I just bought this stock. Um, you know, we don't really buy stocks, but we heard this was great and we bought this one. What do you think of it? And Warren Buffett said, I actually like that stock. I own that stock myself. That's interesting. So anyways, jumps in the elevator. By the time he gets up to his office, he's decided to liquidate his portfolio. Why? Why did he decide to do that? He calls a meeting of everybody and says, over the past couple of weeks, I've struggled to find value in this market. And my realization is, even if the doorman, if the doorman is even buying stock, it's time for us to get out. So Warren Buffett drafted up a letter. How many people would do this? He drafted up a letter to all his investors saying he was dissolving his company and returning the money. So Warren Buffett did that. Um, some people were shocked because he was doing great. And for the next six months, the market just continued to go up, 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 up. And then it crashed. And Warren Buffett really became the Oracle of Omaha. He became a hero. And because of that single action of returning that money, returning the money back to his investors, when he reopened and he started his investment firm again, he didn't have 100 people wanting to invest in him. He had 10,000 people wanting to invest in him. But the moral of the story is, is Warren Buffett understood greatly what a lot of people do not understand, which is how to find value and understanding that the best time to invest, whether it's real estate, the stock market, or in sports betting, is when other people don't want it. Okay, When other people don't want stocks, it's a good time to buy. March this year, nobody wanted stocks. You guys saw the market, it crashed. That was a good time to buy. No one wanted Bitcoin a year and a half ago, two years ago. It crashed. It's a good time to buy. Nobody wanted real estate in 2008, anywhere in the States. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? The real estate market crashed. It's a good time to buy. Okay. Um, when markets are up, when teams are hot, it's not good times to buy. So take that for what it's worth. I am not a licensed stockbroker. But, uh, you know, take that for what it's worth and what Mr. Buffett said about the stock market. If you guys are dabbling in that and, uh, you know, potentially in Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies that have somehow gone up, you know, six, seven, eight hundred percent in a short period of time. Um, but more importantly, guys, we are here to talk about sports. So translate that over to the sports world. All right, guys, let's get cracking. So like I said before, I have five plays for you guys. Masterclass. I have eight additional plays, including two different two-unit plays. Now, I can already hear it. Hey, Bender, why don't we get a two-unit play? Talked about this, guys. Um, smaller school, first half plays, can't, uh, can't do it. Line will get completely destroyed. So, if you are interested, however, BenderWins.com. But I do have five plays for you guys. So, let's get cracking, guys. We will start in soccer let's start in soccer uh which again you guys know what we've been doing in soccer this year absolutely crushing soccer so we'll hope to keep that going austin villa and brighton austin villa and brighton we are gonna go under three goals minus 164 under three goals minus 164 um now some of your books guys you're gonna see under 2.75 or under even 2.5 and you won't be able to move that line. If that is the case, um, you, you may still bet it. I just feel like long-term, long-term guys, uh, three gives us a lot of protection in this game. And there's not a lot of games where we lose this game outright. Okay, so Austin Villa, Brighton guys, under three, minus 164. Next game is Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and Wright State. Okay, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wright State. We are going to go under 148, okay? Under 148, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and Wright State. Next one, guys, um, we'll try it out. It is a first half play. Hopefully, this line holds on and doesn't get demolished, but we shall see. Um, Illinois State and Southern Illinois, okay? Illinois State, Southern Illinois. We are going to go first half 
under 65 and a half. Okay, first half under 65 and a half, Illinois State and Southern Illinois. Over to the National Hockey League, otherwise known as the NHL. A um, couple plays in the NHL, guys. All right, first, we're going to take Winnipeg, but we're going to take Winnipeg in the first 60 minutes, okay? So now, if you do not have access to this bet, which most books do, but I know there are a few American books that do not offer it, um, I would ask that you would probably lay off this game. I don't love the money line on the value. I think you're paying a ton of extra money in the hopes that uh, basically not only does this game go to overtime, but Winnipeg pulls off the win in overtime. Um, you're paying about 80 points of juice additional. And I know there's been a lot of overtime, but I'm not paying that kind of juice, not on this game, guys. Um, if Winnipeg, like, the advantage here is Winnipeg gets this done in 60 minutes. They just absolutely throb Ottawa again, guys. And so I like this bet. We are betting Winnipeg first 60 minutes minus half a goal minus 142. Okay, so minus 142. Instead, we take Winnipeg at, what, minus 220, minus 225 for the full game? No, thank you. We'll take this bet, guys. I think Winnipeg does not need overtime to get this done. So we'll take Winnipeg minus half a goal, minus 142. And finally, guys, the last NHL play, we are going to take the Toronto Maple Leafs minus 130 over Montreal. Toronto Maple Leafs minus 130 over Montreal. Um, again, guys, I've talked about this. Uh, Carey Price has struggled. Montreal on a mini losing streak right now. Uh, Toronto is definitely firing at all cylinders. When Toronto plays Montreal, believe me, guys, it is a circled game on the calendar. They step up. They step up. They play hard. Um, you know, on a, a norm five years ago, guys, uh, you know, Leafs and Montreal and Carey Price in net, uh, it's probably a no play. But the way Carey Price has played early on this season, guys, and the way Toronto has capitalized on the power play, look for Toronto to get it done at minus 130. Okay, so that is it for us today, guys. Again, you know, I hope that uh, you enjoy our little Warren Buffett talk there and it can translate to so many different things in life. So always keep that in mind, you know. Um, when when markets are, are bad, there's always people that try and talk you out of things, whether it's it's houses or buying a business or buying... Um, you know, stock or whatever, but that's when you want to be into it. Okay. When, when the whole world is buying stock, when the whole world is buying real estate, that's not your entry point. All right. So same thing with sports. Thank you guys very much. If you're interested in masterclass, benderwins.com, eight additional plays, very, very busy day, lots of college basketball, um, including two more two unit plays or two 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 unit plays so um anyways guys thank you very much i really appreciate it and as always guys have a very lucky day